لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دس از امیزنگ قرآن ان وچ آئی شیئر ود یو دا تھنگس وچ آئی فائنڈ امیزنگ ان دا ہولی قرآن ان دا ہولی قرآن دیر آر مینی پروفیسیز واٹ ایور دا ہولی قرآن پریڈکٹڈ اٹ کیم تھرو ود دا پیسج آف ٹائم ون آف دا پروفیسی وچ دا ہولی قرآن میڈ واز اباؤٹ ابو الحب اٹ واز اے تھرڈ ایئر of prophethood when holy prophet peace be upon him started preaching openly and Allah commanded the holy prophet peace be upon him fasda'a bima tu'mar wa a'rid 'anil mushrikeen expound openly what thou lord commanded and turn away those who join false gods with him so holy prophet peace be upon him climbed up mount safa it was a traditional way to announce the things there and then holy prophet peace be upon him announced his prophethood and at that time abu lahab was also there so when holy prophet peace be upon him uh, made his announcement of his prophethood and the tawheed so abu lahab said tabbalaka ya muhammad ali hadha jama'atana be perished muhammad for this announcement you called us here and we were busy in important jobs we told you earlier that no one is going to believe in you so he spoiled that whole effort of the holy prophet peace be upon him and the people dispersed no one accepted islam but allah sent down a surah at that time this surah is known as suratul lahab and allah used the same words for abu lahab which he used for holy prophet peace be upon him and allah said tabbat yada abi lahab wa tabba ma aghna anhu maluhu wa ma kasab not muhammad but abu lahab will perish his hands will perish and his wealth will be of no use for him The Holy Quran predicted it in the third year of prophethood and it was the time when Abu Lahab was one of the most handsome men of Mecca he was one of the most influential people of Mecca he used to feel proud of his wealth of his family and everything but Allah said he will perish and the prediction the prophecy came true after the battle of Badr around 10 12 years after this uh, prediction what happened to him that he got a disease and his whole body became full of pustules pus used to flow out of different parts of his body and it was so smelly that no one could sit near him and the people of makkah had no idea what kind of illness he got so there was no medication for that no one could serve him due to the bad smell from that uh, body and uh, his family members threw him away and finally he died in that sickness he did not get any medication he did not get any service from anyone and even after his death no one was there to bury him and the smell was emanating from his dead body so the people of makkah said to his sons utba and utaba they do something with the dead body of your father so they hired slaves and the slaves brought some wood and they then they push his body and they brought his body to a ditch and they threw him inside and they filled the ditch with the stones and that was the end of abu lahab so the prediction of the quran that his wealth will be of no use he did not get any grave he did not even get any shroud so his wealth of was no use for him and in this way the holy quran predicted many of the things and we saw that with the passage of time it all came true this is a proof that the holy quran is really the word of allah the makkans used to see all these things to and it had to strengthen their faith but even then uh, they continued the opposition of the holy prophet peace be upon him may allah help us to understand the reality of the quran and to understand that uh, there are lots of miracles available in the holy quran which help the people even today to understand that it is the word of allah the greatest guidance from god we have to believe in it instead of opposing it and if we will oppose the quran and if we will oppose the holy prophet peace be upon him so we should be ready for the same consequence like abu jahal suffered all of it happened for with him just because of his opposition for the messenger of allah may allah save us from going against the holy prophet peace be upon him and fill our hearts with the love for the holy prophet peace be upon him wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Allah